Hi, my name's David Herman. I'm the park superintendent for the town of Marana. Before I came here, I was the landscape manager at the University of Arizona. And when I got here, my new boss asked me, so what did you learn with your three years at the U of A? I said I learned to look up. And that's why I became a certified arborist, municipal specialist with a tree risk assessment qualification. And what that basically means is that I know how to take care of trees in a park and a municipality situation along roadways. And the tree risk assessment qualification is what risk does a tree pose to targets? People, cars, uh, amenities, stuff like that. It was really a great education and boy, did it come in handy coming to parks. Your tools that you have, a nice pair of loppers. And when you're getting loppers, make sure you get a good pair. That's what you're gonna be using a lot. Your handsaw and your pruners. And today, we're gonna to be talking about water sprouts and suckers, which are basically the same thing, except as you can see, the water sprouts are coming right here. We want to remove these, but why are they showing up? Well, this year we had a normal winter. And by that, I mean, we had our winter rains. So a lot of times you have desert trees that have been trimmed up at the wrong time of year and they put out all of these water sprouts. This year with a normal winter and the winter rains, the tree has so much free water that it's pulling it up and saying, look, I can put out all of these light receptors and actually build more energy. But unfortunately, that takes away from the rest of the tree because all that energy it's trying to push up into its branches is all being taken up on the trunk. And as long as you remove these right at the trunk itself, you'll find you have such a much more healthier tree, you'll have less debris, and the sooner you can get these off, the better you are. Let's move on, Cor. Now we're gonna move on to low-hanging fruit, or in this case, low-hanging branch. When I was the landscape manager at the University of Arizona, we had a mandate that everything must be trimmed up seven feet high. Why? Basketball players. This one, we don't have to worry about that, but we still need to get this up out of the way so that we can have mowers and people don't run into it. So we're going to want to, want to take the branch off at the tree branch collar right here. So we want to get as close to the tree without actually cutting it in. And we'll, uh, we'll use our handy dandy loppers. Oh, too big. I'm going to need a saw. Saw? Here's your saw. That ain't a saw. This is a saw. Right off we go. Beautiful, right there. Very handy, unbelievable. Kind of thought it was a joke, a little toy, but this is the bomb. And as you can see here, we've gotten right through the tree branch collar. The branch is right off flush with the tree. There's no damage to the bark itself. And now this will compartmentalize. This will die away and the tree will heal right over and you have a beautiful, healthy tree going forward for years to come. It's funny, before all this happened, everybody wanted to be on their phone, doing their phone thing. And now everybody wants to be outdoors. When this whole thing is over, come to our parks. They're beautiful. Yes, they're growing. We're still mowing and we'll keep going all for 